When folks find out that the Mazda MX-5 RF is 530,000 Rand, the eyes go wide, the jaw drops down, and the words, for a tiny two-seater, spill out the mouths. Yes, it's a chunk of change, and yes, it has limited space, but it's unique, it's very well built, and it's super fun to drive. To get a second opinion, I'm on my way to meet well-known South African actor and singer Emmanuel Castus. Let's see what he thinks. As I said, uh, we tracked down Emmanuel Castus because I want to get his views on the Mazda MX-5 RF. So, Emmanuel, thanks very much for making uh, time for us, my friend. You and I have known each other for a long time. Yep, yep. We're both, uh, we're both petrol heads. Mm -hmm. uh, I know you've owned a couple of cool cars in your time, which is why I value your opinion on this car. But just tell us a little bit about what you're involved with from an acting point of view at the moment. We picked you up at the studio you're filming? Yes, we were filming Broken Bars, which okay. is a, a, a telenovela on TV right. extra. Um, it's been actually going for the last year. We're almost finished actually. We've got a week and a half left of filming and then it'll go into April. Okay. Broadcasting. And before that, I mean just recently you've been nominated for uh, your work on Erf is That's that correct? correct. Erf Sunders 4 I was nominated for a SAFTA for Best Supporting Actor. And when will you find out if you've won? The 25th of March. 25th of March. Yeah. Okay, very cool. So obviously we're holding thumbs for that. Uh, you also, at least people don't know, Emmanuel won Dancing with the Stars, correct? Well, it was Strictly Come Dancing. Strictly Come changed. Dancing. It's Dancing with the Stars now because ah, it's changed. Ah, yes. See. But yeah, Strictly Come Dancing, 2009. That's my claim to fame. I beat Trevor Noah. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Okay, cool. So listen, man, I mean, you, you, you and I were talking just now about uh, some crazy car stories. Tell us a story about your broken car, accident, you can't afford to fix it, you're a struggling actor, you're still a struggling actor, I think it's fair to say. Not struggling quite as badly as then, but a struggling actor, you break your car, your mates have to get into the window, how does it? Uh, actually I was still a, a drama student actually. Right. Uh, and it was the family car, my mom got me this Toyota that I could drive for free. I'm not supposed to mention brand No, it's not mention it. We were back, we were driving home from a party one night as uh, students and this guy came off the highway and T-boned me square in the passenger door right. and uh, we couldn't afford to fix the car so for the next kind of, actually I think for the rest of the life of that car we had people climbing climbing into the passenger window to get into the passenger seat. That is fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean obviously we're getting on in life, we're not looking for the same things in cars that maybe we were when we were slightly younger, but mm -hmm. you are, uh, I know you're involved at this point in time with a beautiful woman, but you don't have family, you don't have kids at this point in time. She has a daughter. She has a daughter. Yeah, from the previous marriage, yeah, so. I mean is a two-door car, two-door, two-seater car, is it something you would consider? You see, also with what I do kind of thing, uh, being a musician as well, carrying gear and stuff like that, it's kind of a little impractical for me, but it, you know, it would have to be a second second car. Yeah. So we're going to see if we can convince Emmanuel that this car will work for him. We're going to let him drive the car and we're going to take some shots <laughs> of inside the car and of us driving around and we're going to see if uh, we can convince. I love this motor car, I really do. Uh, from a practicality point of view, of course, this is not where you're going to be shopping. It doesn't have a lot of space and all those sorts of things, but it's fantastic fun to drive. And Emmanuel's going to check that out just now. And she's pretty. She's beautiful. She's pretty, yeah. So uh, let's do it. Uh, let's get in the car and, and see how we do. So we've now got Emmanuel Castus in the driver's seat. Uh, he's been, uh, we've been whipping around this leafy area of, uh, of Joburg. We have the car in sport mode and he's been enjoying the flappy pedals. What do you think? Uh, I know you drive a, a Freelander turbo diesel at the moment and yeah. before that you had an Audi petrol but turbocharged car. Yes, yes, so this yes. car quite different in that it's normally aspirated. Yeah. All of the performance up at the top end. What yeah, do, so, what you do you, what, so you don't get that performance straight out of the blocks like you would with the cars I used to have when, yes. and I still have. Yes. But um, it's still really nice and nippy, right? Nippy. It's a nice nippy car. So you've also got to get a get a good handle on the 
on how you sort of because you know it's not like it's not the, the when you hit the paddle it's not an immediate kind of yes you got to learn the timing yeah, of the learn gearbox. The timing of it, yeah. Yeah. So let me tell me what you think of the the build quality. I'm always very impressed with the build quality of of modern Mazdas. What what's your feel? Yeah, absolutely. Because uh, my f father's wife, well, I guess she's my stepmom, um, uh, had the older version of this, and also she had the two liter. Yeah. And uh, this seems a lot sturdier. It seems like it sits on the ground a lot. You know, it, it, it holds a lot it, more composed. Holds, yeah, it's a lot more composed, and it right. seems like it's built a lot stronger. Cool, cool. So, dude, thanks very much, man. We're gonna we're gonna be whizzing around the, the suburbs cool. here a little bit more, uh, crashing into nearly crash into an crashing into an emergency vehicle yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the. So, Manuel, yeah, thanks very much for your time, and I'm glad you enjoyed the car. And Thank uh, you. Uh, who knows? You know, you may see Emmanuel Castas. Uh, going to spend his hard-earned rants on one of these cars. One Let's of these see. Nippies. It's definitely uh, worth uh, having as a second car, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I mean, in terms of practicality, if you're looking for a car that's practical with a boot and a backseat, obviously this is not it. Yeah. But if you're yeah. looking for a car that's a lot of fun to drive and has a unique vibe about it, then this car ticks those boxes. Absolutely.